and I believe we are live. Hello, friends, dear viewers, whoever you are. Welcome. Glad you could join us for the first inaugural oh, uh, Kirby Wednesday, a new uh, ongoing series with Designing Floor, where every week we will uh, uh, go through part of, uh, or all of, or whatever, uh, one of the games in the Kirby series. Welcome uh, to K -K -K Kirby Fest. <laughs> Uh, we are planning on hitting all of the major titles as well as some or most of the uh, spin-off stuff. Um, uh, yeah, if you have a certain favorite spin-off that you'd like us to cover, uh, just make sure to tell us. Uh, I also have a discussion thread in the YouTube uh, channel, so if you want a more permanent way of reminding me which ones other than Air Ride you want to see, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah don't yeah, worry. Don't we're, worry. We're going we're not going to be doing all of them because some of them wouldn't be that popular, but we'll we, try to get anyone that gets suggested. We actually specifically talked about Kirby's toy box. We, uh, uh, that's a, that's a no go. Oh, damn. I, I, you can't I don't play Tilt and Tumble a, too? It, I would I basically. I don't know how to get a Satellaview to work. I would, uh, for uh, Tilt and Tumble, I'd basically have to manhandle my GameCube with the Game Boy Player built in. Yes, the favorite <laughs> Kirby game. <laughs> Kirby's Dream. <laughs> Kirby's Dreamland 2. <laughs> and Kirby's Sweet Home. Yeah, uh, you might remember this. I've, um, uh, I've been hard at work behind the scenes, uh, getting stuff set up. So, um, we are, of course, going to be starting with Kirby's Dreamland, the... Uh, very first game in the series. I believe all three of us have played it. Yep. Yep. Uh, I've never done extra mode, however. Okay. And yeah, we are planning on doing both the base game and extra mode. Um, I've played both, although it's been uh, 15 years since I've played it, so... Who knows, maybe I'll get stumped on Kabula or something. In a couple seconds. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, I can't think. Oh, uh, I guess um, just for the sake of things, before we get into it, uh, let's uh, quick reading from of the story from the manual, since as a Game Boy game, this doesn't present it otherwise. Uh, Kirby to the rescue on a tiny star somewhere far, far away from Earth. There's a very special place known as Dreamland. The Dreamlanders are a very happy people who use their magical sparkling stars to play and work among the heavens. That is, until one night when the gluttonous King Dedede and his rotten band of thieves swooped down from the neighboring Mount Dedede for a midnight snack in Dreamland. Not only did they steal all their food, but they stole the Dreamlanders' treasured sparkling stars as well. Because the Dreamlanders didn't have the sparkling stars to gather food anymore, they began to get very hungry. Suddenly, a spry little boy named Kirby happened along and said, Don't worry, I'll get your food and your sparkling stars back. With these words, Kirby set off on his quest towards the dreaded Mount DDD. We wish him luck. I wonder what's in on Popstar besides Dreamland. That's never made clear. So, is DDD not the king? Is he only king of Mount DDD? Yeah, he's uh, the self-appointed ruler. Well, yeah, but it said it's neighboring, so, like, Dreamland is a different territory than Mount Dedede. Yeah, maybe it's, like, uh, DC. It's just is, a... is it just, like, they got bored and were like, oh, oh, it's Dedede. And he just, like, moves out and he just lives in his summer condo in Dreamland. And he's like, this is the castle now. Uh, uh, an entire country with only one resident. There you go. Uh, quick sound check before we start. Is uh, audio okay? Audio balance between the game and the, uh, us uh, commentators? Uh, oh, by the way, if... oh, oh, you're right. You are. You got double audio going. I Wait. Do. One second. Okay. Actually, one sec. Sure. It is a bit echoey. I knew that. Yeah, was it fun. is. Yeah. Look at all the... Why do you wait? Watch all of these default characters dance around. Interesting, interesting. The, those will be replaced once this game's finished. <laughs> uh, 
let's see, I'm just seeing if I can quick do a... Does that help any? Yes! Oh. Oh, that's weird. I have no idea what's going on there. Oh well. Alright. Is, yeah. it, is it better for you, SG? And or Tut. Or whoever's. Okay. I'm, I'm juggling, I'm juggling. Alright. Uh, note to self, I just have to mute uh, Firefox uh, when uh, uh, when I do this. Go figure. Oh, yeah, that would, uh, uh-huh. With, with the stream open? Yeah, probably. As she says, he's, he still thinks he's hearing some, but... Here, hold up a sec, I just want to try to uh, test something. Uh, Gooms and Dryest are going to be uh, lost for a sec, but... Alright. Alright, uh... Alright, so how does the game sound? Does the echo away gone away now? Rats. I was, I was afraid of that. Okay. So, okay, so problem there is that uh, I got uh, I think desktop audio and sound both of the same thing. No, that doesn't work at all. Okay. Um, what if I did this? Apologies, I know uh, midstream isn't exactly the ideal time to be uh, experimenting with. Audio setup, but, uh, Good news is this should be the last time we have to do it. Ideally. Let's see. That's still gonna be an echo. Well, no, now it's like weirdly muffled. Let's see. Are we are we still coming through? Like, yeah, are we coming through? Yes, but you're quiet. I am quiet. Okay. Yeah, I oh, could try to speak up. This, this is, is weird audio balance. Okay. But that works. The, this works okay. Uh, uh, weird audio balance. So, like, I'm gonna have to adjust. Like what? Uh. Oh no no no! You you've got it you've got it. It it was panning weird and now it's okay. Okay. All right, all right. So, uh, sorry. So, last check, no echo uh, or not or tolerable echo. Uh, friends sound okay. Uh, Gooms and Dryest are coming in. Let, let's say I am. Yeah. Um, okay. Just say yes. Uh, if chat says yes, we move on. Cool. Just waiting for the next yeah, update because that was from before. Cool. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait. And we're gonna be really excited when a message comes in. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who, Wonder it's, from. who it's from. Oh look, it's no one. Fun. It's like an empty letter that comes in. <laughs> no, There's... no, no. It, it's a letter for. There is minor, There's minor echo. echo again, but it's probably fine. Uh, what happens if I? No, definitely not. Then the sound goes away. That's what happens. Oh crap, I don't remember the very specific number I had this set to. Kirby just gets a letter from King DDD, <laughs> and it's like, Dear Kirby, you're a dumbass. Signed, your friend. Uh, ah, shit, do I want to... Why, why don't yeah. you just, um, pause the stream? Like, kill, this, kill the stream for a sec? Well, like, don't broadcast the stream on your end. What? Or mute it. Oh, I... I... Like, like it's... it's echoing because it's, it's... It's playing it out of Firefox, right? No, so what's going on is, uh, I've got, I've got the sound coming in from the, uh, capture card, but it's also playing on the desktop. So whereas I'm only hearing it once, since I'm streaming desktop audio as well as the capture card audio, it's, uh, uh sending over double. Problem is, I can't mute the game, I can't mute the stream without muting, uh, 
if I mute the uh, capture card, it mutes it for in both. Whereas if I mute desktop audio, it does cut you guys off, which is no good. Oh, oh. that's mean. Actually, one thing I'm wondering about. What if I did it like this? Uh, da -da -da, audio. No good. Send Hoops and Drash into the capture card, problem solved. Well, there we go. You guys uh, just want to hop on in? Yeah, hang on. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's going to be just Beer Kong! Jacking in! <laughs> Very nice. I suppose this is why there's usually lots of setups. All right. Audio stored, battle chip in, download! Well, what do we want to do? Do we want to just call Mulligan on this and uh, just try to tweak audio setup for the next game, or...? They didn't seem like it was that bad, so... Let's try to set up some time to fix it better for the next stream, yeah, but... Let's just be let's just be better. All right. So uh, for tonight, we're going to uh, apologies for the echo. That's this is a known thing, but we'll uh, sort it out for next time. Uh, okay. You get to hear a neat new mix of the game. Yes, I actually really like this uh, title theme. Now that we've been forced to listen to it for ten minutes. Um, yeah, it's uh, nice. Like Can we see anything else, please? <laughs> sure. Okay. But it is, like, legit one of my, uh, favorite, uh, Kirby tracks, um... Yeah. So I think that Kirby's Dreamland has, like, really good level design. It's just there's not very much of it. Oh, right. Like, I, I, I find that the levels have a really good... do a really good job of being memorable and having a lot of different set pieces, even though there's only a couple. Huh. It's, um... You know what it is? There's a lot of things that are close to the ceiling in this game. Or close to the top yeah. of the screen. Yeah. Hmm. And that encourages you to fly. That it does. It, well, th that also makes it so that flying isn't as broken as it is in most other Kirby games, which I kind of appreciate. Because they have a lot of flying enemies and the ceilings throw low. Man, imagine your entire existence being to sit down and throw bombs at a man. Hey! Dude seems happy doing that. Man, I miss, uh, what is that big bear guy, Rizzo? Grizzo. 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 Grizzo's, big, big, Grizzo's, he's fire. Rizzo's the rat from uh, Muppets. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, you've got it. Tarvolt says, uh, I've heard of this game. Kirby is a JoJo reference, right? Well, that's how he defeated uh, Justice, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, he used uh, the Star Breath. So we're, uh, this is actually where Jotaro got the idea. We're using the, uh, Star Suck in order to defeat our foes. <laughs> it's, it's a thankless job for Poppy Bros Sr. It's a living. Yeah, yeah, he's just the, the Flintstones. It's a living! So I noticed that there's, like, a Poppy Bros Jr. right after. So, like, did the Poppy Bros Sr. bring him to work? <laughs> oh, and no! And it was like... He's like, wow! <laughs> Alright, son. Now I'm going to show you how we get the food. How I put the food on the table. Oh my gosh. Okay, so embarrassing confession. I only just realized now as you're saying it that Poppy Bros Sr. and Junior are uh, father and son, not older brother and younger brother. I, I know. mean, that's literally what Sr. and Junior I know, mean. I know. It doesn't make any sense, but I've Never put it in that context. Alright, here's good old Wispy. The very first Wispy. 
So in a universe where Kirby never got its copy abilities, how would you expand his sucking and blowing powers? Oh, interesting. Um, um, honestly, probably having spectacle bits like Hypernova is a good start. Yeah. Um, and because probably the... just take a page from, like, rhythm games where you have to do it in a very specific window. Huh. Because I think that it's very easy that Kirby could have gone in a totally different direction. Yeah, here we are in Castle ja 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 ja, -ja. Oops. You I... aren't supposed to eat the microphone. I, I ate the microphone! I was supposed to do a cool set piece. <laughs> yeah, um... What? <laughs> Which, come to think of it... It's the first time I've ever seen anyone eat that microphone. <laughs> I forgot that I didn't you're even supposed know to... it was possible. Yeah, I forgot you were supposed to spit out the microphone. Damn. <laughs> I thought you ate it because it was... Ow. Oh, it doesn't even respawn. I've just ruined it forever. Yeah, it's wrong. So, um... If we get uh, 50 subs and you can donate in chat, I will eat my microphone if you feel like it. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, new, in Be careful. new incentive. That we're not that far from 50 subs. I know we're not. That's why it's so enticing. So, like, these guys right here. Uh, these question mark blocks would always used to throw me off. It's like they're question like mark blocks, right? Like you thought blocks, there, was right? there was stuff in them? You're supposed to be able to interact with them. No, they're yeah. mystery blocks. They're like, ooh, what's going to be inside? Ah, oh, it's fire. Fire is inside. Oh, it's nothing in this one. Alright, I let the record show Mumby is one of the great uh, video game enemy names. Yeah, they're also in Kirby 64, Mumbies. Yeah. Oh, they are, aren't they? Mumby. Here we go. A hero from another story. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Eggman. <laughs> It's weird knowing that where these guys come from after all these years because I know them from Kirby's Dreamland long before I knew them from Adventures of Lolo. But dude, I remember when uh, Brawl was coming out. Uh, everyone was ride or die for a certain retro character, and mine was Lolo. No fooling. Yeah, because I re Adventure of Lolo released on the Virtual Console on. Uh, the date of Sakurai's birthday. Oh. And I was like, oh, it's a sign. Oh, that's a sign. <laughs> Do they even have any stickers or anything for Lolo? I don't think I so, because they're, so. they're not technically Nintendo games. I remember, like, ah, oh, yeah, I won over the Smash Brothers Game Packs board. Now some people are saying Lolo. So, realistically, uh, the way you uh, do upgrades for Kirby is probably along the lines of uh, microphone and uh, uh, super spicy curry. So, just his copy abilities, but one room. It just lots of focus of individual power-ups, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so, like, Mario Galaxy power-ups. Exactly. Or, 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 oh, yeah, like, him. or like, uh... A lot of different interactables, like how Mario 2 kind of works and that kind of thing. Alright. Uh, Mumby stayed all the way back to the first game. Sure do. I don't think there's a lot of bosses that just restrict your ability to jump like these two. Come to think of it, a lot of 2D Kirby does bosses like this. Uh, uh, yeah, Ruff the and Nelly, Pond and Pond Pond and Con. They're definitely the same archetype as these. I, I think they're direct reference, actually. Yeah, I can think of other bosses from stuff like, uh, Boobine Trap. Well, that doesn't really restrict your jumps, it restricts how you use your Well, items. that- well, your movement is still very cramped in hey, the area. Hey, thanks for the sub- Yeah, that's true. Bold. Thanks, Tuvold. Uh, <laughs> then we're one step closer to our microphone eating donation incentive. So uh, get your uh, get your things in so that I can eat a microphone. What? Hey, you're the one who said who said you'd do it, not me. 
I made a promise. I know what I said. Whoa, hey. Let me eat you, Frig. I think this is probably the most underrated music track, probably. I really well, like I, it. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. It does get remixed a lot Oops. more now. I actually died. I forget yeah, how, I'm, I'm very sad. I forget how harsh uh, momentum is uh, when you're fat underwater. Yeah, momentum hurts fat people really bad. <laughs> Connor 2020. Well done. Yep. I suppose we never actually introduced ourselves for this uh, series. Do we need to do oh, that, yeah. or do people just implicitly know who we are? They sat through, like... 20 minutes of audio finagling, I think they're good. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, All right. wait, we can shut off now, finally! There we go. Oh, that uh, Bronto bird just flew away. Sorry, no beam power in this game. Yeah, unfortunately we have a little bit of a stutter where it's coming in through two audio sources. And uh, we can't mute that without uh, muting myself and Gooms. So I'll need to fiddle futz with audio for next time. So unfortunately, yeah. we got to do it like this for now. But so just deal with this hot new mix of Load Islands. It's the same as the old mix, but hot. Well, that's that's interesting. I wonder if they're actually deliberately trying to trap you to uh, inhale a dude here or that swallow a dude right. there. Oh, you got hit by a coconut. Consider the coconut. I don't think there's a lot of games that have caves on tropical islands, actually. They have lots of ice caves and lava caves, not a lot of tropical caves. Oh, you remember... Uh, you remember Color Kirby? Splash did it. Yeah, yeah, I was saying Kirby Color Splash, but I couldn't do the word. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Kirby Color Splash! We're there with Yo-Ho-Ho! And you fought Wendy Koopa. Yeah, I guess if they have, like, a pirate theme, that's the only thing. Yeah, because pirate coves are a big thing, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's just a vista, I guess. It's just the illusion of the outside. It's like an acne painting. There you go. King D.A.D. laughed like, Hehe! <laughs> Kirby's gonna run right into the wall! One of the interesting things about Dreamland 1 that other Kirby games don't do as much is having the enemies be heavily tied to the world. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, like, where oh, are yeah. It's all nautical dudes here? Yeah. Squishy. Yeah. I... Like, uh, this is getting a bit ahead of ourselves, but it did always amuse me that... Oh, right, water cools off Super Spicy Curry. Um, it, it did always amuse me that in uh, Milky Way Wishes, uh, the, uh, all the planets in the galaxy uh, apparently contain uh, uh, all the same aliens. Which, I mean, something has to be said for uh, uh, Stag Beetle being able to endure... Uh, uh, volcano, but uh... it does in this game. Oh, you got shot by his blowhole. I always thought it was weird how there were two sky-themed bosses in this game. I right, did. Here, here we go. Oh, you got the. What is that that you just ate? It's, it's a mint leaf. And that gives you burpees? Yeah. <laughs> You're attacking him with your delicious fresh breath. Hey, her, this gal's a blimp. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, a right. that, that's a cute girl. Yeah. Why did you get shot? Because sometimes I'm just filled with emotions and I don't know how to handle them. Can can, can you not get shot, please? I'll try. Man, Kabula has to be like one of the best Kirby bosses. Just. Yeah. Just like. Not like of her own merits or anything, although a shmup boss is always fun in a platformer. But like, um. Just friggin'. It's all these fantasy. Yeah, all these fantasy dudes. And it's not a robot. It's not a fantasy thing. It's. It's a dank blimp. 
It's just the DDD Zeppelin. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea that what the mint leaf was, though. He was just stands up. there. DDD just stands there. Escagoon, I want a boss that is roughly half the size of my ego. <laughs> well, you're certainly full of hot air, sire. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Whoop. Shoot. It helps to fly a lot in this level. I find that this is the case, yeah. Uh, one thing that I'm uh, that keeps throwing me off is that uh, jump and uh, float aren't the same button. Oh yeah, it's up for float. Yeah, well. yeah. I, it's like that for this in adventure, isn't it? I forget yeah, if that's the case so. in adventure, but I know they standardized it to the same button uh, uh, in later games. Also, first instance of Scarfy, which we will see many times throughout the series. Yo, yeah, shout outs to Scarfy, actual monster. Oh, it's hideous. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. It's like a Doom enemy. <laughs> it is kind of actually. Kirby Demon. And now you got me thinking like of a, a Newgrounds style flash animation where they just have Scarfy versus a Caco Demon. Oh, and it's all completely over the top and lots yes. of blood and uh, very um, Super Mario Bros. Z. Yes. Scarfy, the two faced snacker from Dreamland, and the Caco Demon. The pits of the depths of hell from Doom. Who would win in a death battle? These goobs and I'm McBlank Stick. Here, you didn't even go for the goom stick pun. It was right there. I didn't even say anything. I was talking to Connor. You said sure here. Enough. Yeah, true enough. It's always interesting in these sorts of games to see the characters that do and don't come back in uh, later sequels. Oh yeah, there's a nice. There. Oh, you win in. Okay, so logistically, what? <laughs> well, there's like, a little air. Don't pocket. question it. Did you just go into a window of space? Ah, oh, shit. look, it is a baby crackle. So, do you think that this is Krakow's lesser form, or this is actually Krakow Jr.? It's Krakow Jr. No, it's Krakow's lesser form, because later you see it transform into the regular Krakow. Yeah, but, like... But he's dead. Oh wait, no, he flew off. Never mind. You're yeah. right. You're right. So maybe, uh, uh maybe, uh, a lot of mint leaves in this level. Uh, is so this where the moon is? Or is yeah. that later? Yeah, the moon I know will be coming up. I know it's a superstar, at the very least. No, I think the moon is in every game. Oh. That you can go into. See, I only know about superstar. Why aren't there those flower boys that latch onto you? I miss them. They don't exist yet, jeez. That's rude. Someone should invite them to existence. I wonder what the top score possible in this game is. Well, we were about to find life. out. Why does this pit exist? I'm pretty sure I just die if I go down there. It's the Scarfy's deadly trap. <laughs> oh, dang. Never played the first game, so seeing enemies and items are slowly returning in more recent games is a bit surreal. The Mint Breath, for example. Yeah, yeah. I was just, uh, I was just gonna say it's, it's interesting to me with these sorts of games to see what does and uh, what becomes the series mainstay and what just mostly exists as a novelty of the original, like, um, like uh, how. Uh, yeah, this is where the moon is, I think. Like, that style in a soul ghost, uh, he don't show up in later games. There we yeah. go. Yeah, okay, you're in the moon. Okay, yeah, you eat. My mato! <coughs> I 
two, uh, uh, three tomatoes. No! No! Oh. <laughs> wow, that was pitiful. Failure. <laughs> oh, that sucked. <laughs> you suck. Thank you. Alright, so, Goobs, first fight against Krakow. You gotta explain your whole theory about Krakow. What, that he's a, he's a weather god? I'm not familiar with that one, just more that he's the most violent uh, Kirby villain. Oh yeah, because he tries to electrocute you and he's got spikes sticking out of him. He could gore you. And, and he strikes you with lightning. Like, how many people... Most people that get struck by lightning don't survive. Huh, you know, I never considered that. You know, people who get struck by lightning do die. Did the... I did the thing. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, oh, look, Kirby's doing a little jig. Look oh, at him. Yeah, I forgot that he did that in this game. I didn't even know that. Why would I ever pause this game? <laughs> okay, so I actually, funny you mentioned that. I have to confess that uh, in my early days of the internet, um, so like game FAQs, right? Yes, I'm, I'm acquainted. Uh, you, wait, did it not? Is it? Oh, right. I have to adjust that. So, like, game FAQs. In the early days of game FAQs, um, uh, they'd, of course, um, you, uh, like, you could, uh, uh, or when I, when I first got on the internet and really started exploring, wow, people can write FAQs for games and stuff. Uh, this is really neat. This is really cool. I want to write one. Oh, I know. I'll do one for Kirby's Dreamland. Oh, dear. I never submitted it, but I... Oh, so thank God. I, oh, thank God. I, I um, spent uh, one playthrough very slowly working my way through the game, noting, okay, this is how you get through this level. This is how you get through this world and stuff. Uh, this Boy, this is going to be super useful for someone. <laughs> They need a lot of help figuring out how to beat Waddle Do. Yeah. All right. Uh, audio back for everyone. Uh, At my least for me. All right. Uh, people can ask questions about games frequently. Yes. Oop. See, he's trying to maul you with those spikes. Oh, I do not have this uh, FAQ still. Uh, it would have been several computers ago. Or actually, I think I wrote it down on paper because that was back when I did that most of the time. So you might still have it. Oh, I doubt it. But theoretically. God, you guys are reminding me of the time that uh, I watched a bunch of people stream. Um, what was it? Banjo Kazooie, and we just looked up old game FAQs because it was someone's first time playing, and they picked one of the most gloriously written guides. I have already told you guys this, oh, yeah. but uh, where it's explaining all of the items, and it's going through them one by one, and it goes, ah yes, now Jiggies, Jiggies are like the shines of this game. Oh, buddy. Alright, uh, Pierre, it looks like you're gonna have to eat your hat or maybe your microphone because we just ticked over. Eee! But we have to get affiliated first, so that's an extra thing. Yeah, okay. So but you can rub it in and you can let me know what kind of microphone you want me to eat. Chap, which, our... which one do you want to do? So, uh, one thing that I really like about this game that you never see elsewhere is that they do the uh, level recaps. I, I just asked them, what do you want to do, and then you went into the first one anyway. Oh. I thought you meant, uh, what microphone do you want to eat? <laughs> yes, clearly, I meant what microphone do you want to eat? <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, it changes, it changes from the Mount Dedede theme to the yeah. stage select theme. Alright, 
Now for realsies, what do you want to do now that it's... W what door do you want us to fight? Ha! SG thought the same thing. Vindicated. Yeah, you, you should have really phrased that better. Why aren't you playing it better? Okay. Do Re reverse order. Reverse order, okay. We've gotta work our way up to the hardest in the game. Can you go in there? You cannot. Aw, nope. uh, it's a fake moon. Gotta watch out for those, the fake moons. I think the other one's more of a fake moon, honestly. Nah, see, the real moon you can go inside of. Well, hello. Oh, that's yeah, right, I forgot about this. It's such a weird, weird concept that you have to kill yourself in order to beat the level. I never really understood that. Escargoon, let's fill Kirby with existential torture! <laughs> Oh, well, we're in trouble. No, it makes an explosion sound when you collect it. So, I don't think it's actually collecting it. It's pretty murder. How do you do that? No one should be able to get it past themselves. <laughs> I'm so the only saying... one who would ever do that. Well, sire, so... no one is as into themselves as you. <laughs> so, you're saying that that's Kirby's shadow self. Yes. Ah, dang it. Damn, you got impaled on the spikes! Forgot how thick the original Kirby was when floating. Alright. Oh yeah, I forget that you actually deal damage when you fall on people. Yeah. Yep. Man, but Waddle Dee and Waddle Doo are just vibing there. I don't want to beat them up. So is this like a genocide where you get the Kirby and then the sins of yourself kill the enemies? Like, is this, is this a mind palace? It's, um... <laughs> Dreamland the line. You seem to be trading with him, but uh, I don't think you're winning these trades. Aha! Do you Shows feel you know. like a hero of the stars yet? Very good! Alright! Is it reverse <laughs> order? So that's Kabula next. Kirby <laughs> Streamland is perhaps my favorite strand like game. Yes, the K in Kirby stands for strand. <laughs> Sure. I'm not even what? gonna question it. But don't you know the S in strand stands for strand? <laughs> in the Sioux language, the word Sioux means snake. Furthermore, the dictionary don't get defines hit. it. <laughs> don't suck. Well, that's kind of the nature of this game. Well, yep. no, this was explicitly a blow boss, so... You should try standing, like, in the middle, the top... Top middle and bottom middle, instead of, like, directly in the middle. Because that's where it always shoots. Oh, fair. Yeah, m maybe you should have, like, basic bullet pa Like, wait, we beat Battletoads! How are you dying to Kabula? <laughs> don't, don't think about it too much. No, we be Battletoads! <laughs> like... Kabula is harder than, uh, than a Turbo Tunnel, what can I say? It's pretty easy once you know that. It's pretty easy when you decide not to get shot, yes. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, you gotta chase her down to spew, uh, your minty freshness at her. Oh, you have to aim in order to shoot the gun! <laughs> the lessons that Kirby teaches you. Hey. There you are, friggin' Fanto. If you game over on Kirby's Dreamland, you will never see the light of day again. All the shade I will throw at you. <laughs> I, I agree. 
What, yeah. what if the only game over is on extra mode? Because that's legit difficult. Alright, well we will well, play... Well, I don't know! I don't know if we're getting to extra mode, boys. I mean... <laughs> oh, come on, that. Have you seen the play thus far? <laughs> so, I do like the... Uh... I do appreciate that Lolo and La 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 have uh, different health meters. Uh, yeah. That seems like that'd be a sort of complicated thing to do uh, for. Well, I don't know about complicated, but it's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. He's he's dead now. He had a family. You killed his family in front of him, and then he killed him. This seems to be a recurring theme with this game. Oh. See, that's the jump that teaches you how to float. That's game design. <laughs> it teaches you how to float, like, one room, two rooms before the final boss. Kinda of surreal having the music not go away when you're fighting the boss. You, I like it. There we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You killed the memory of Kirby. Damn, look at that health bar. Look at this beefy boy. It was actually pretty difficult as a kid, but... Whoa. I love how expressive DD is. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh... That, uh... Flop attack... That just does so much for the character. <laughs> I love that his signature move is eating shit. I think zero counts, so... Yeah, yeah, I'm still okay, I'm still okay, no shade yet. Uh, I, I don't know, I, oh, I, I can see the clouds coming in. I did say it's been a while. For Kirby? Yes! Are you going to find a way to game over on Kirby's Epic Yarn? <laughs> no! Why aren't you better? Why don't you blink the eyes on the submarine better? Hey, I blinked just fine, thank you. Are we ever gonna figure out if that actually does anything? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> he does kind of look like a frog in this one. I appreciate that this boss isn't difficult, but he demands consistency. The fact that his pattern is so randomized actually really helps him out. Yeah. Um, and the fact that uh, after the Super D to D jump, he can. That, like, has no end lag, unlike Smash. <laughs> Doesn't that even really need end lag? Sakurai has some weird choices sometimes. Look, dude, uh, it took four games to get DK to have a somersault. I, I, I just take what I can get. Ah, shoot, I almost did a perfect oh, run. he got you. He got you with the clever trap. Gotcha. <laughs> there. I think, I think that his extra mode fight's the same, it's just a lot faster. We did it, we got the precious stars, or whatever. They're sparkling stars. Oh, now right. no one will have to starve. Well, except DDD. Yeah, it is a good, it's a great boss theme. It doesn't have its um, bridge breakdown, whatever. Yeah. But it does later on, though. So this never comes up in the future. No. But he played himself just like a balloon. Look, it's Masa Sakurai! Masa Sakurai! Shouts to Masa-san! 
I really do love this Curtis thing. Sunday though. Rain! Yeah. It's yeah. super happy. Oh. And it's just like... This is probably the only credits theme that a lot of kids saw when they were growing up. So uh, what never comes up? A uh, big inflation. Thanks, Bubby! Thanks, Cypher! Cypher. Sorry, was that Tetsuya? Tetsuya Nomura. No. <laughs> a completely different Tetsuya. And so many plays. Aww. Aww. Derby Streamline presented by... Laboratory Inc. and Nintendo. Was this the first game that they made um, joint together with Nintendo? Because the Adventures of Lolo wasn't, they weren't part of Nintendo back then. Maybe? Bye bye. Quite a bit. Alright. Press up A. Up A select. I also appreciate that if you wanted to, you could just uh, play extra mode uh. from the beginning if you knew the uh. input. Uh. <laughs> Look at like this if, good if, if boy! <laughs> I forgot he had a tender temper tantrum. But yeah, if you were just a god gamer and decided, no, I don't need no normal mode, I'm going to go extra game, you could do that. Just put in this code. I do actually have to reset here, so bear with me. Yeah. All right. I will, of course, save this because I worked hard for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a hard fought battle. We'll play. Up. A. Select. There we go. Extra game! Alright, here we go. Everything has a unique sprite, most are faster, and uh, there's a lot more Gordos. Oh yeah, and those jump. The little so baby chicks chickens. are now full on chickens. And they Big do a weird loop de loop. And the Bronto birds are those guys? Is that Morpho Knight? And those are... Yeah, that, that's a Cappy kids. replacement, right? Yeah. yeah. Ow. Well, now I need the other uh, Peppy Brew. Why didn't oh, you yeah, get the other? Because they I... do twice as much damage, too. Uh -oh. So, ha. Well, they they made it yeah. like an actual... Like, I wouldn't say it's super challenging, but it's as no, yeah, challenging no, as is... you would expect for a game that's short. Yeah, this is neat. I like that they change enemy behavior and not just enemy, um, type, like in uh, Super Mario Bros. Extra. Yeah. Oh, and he charges at Oh, yeah. he gonna slam! <laughs> gotcha. Daddy? <laughs> oh, but he doesn't change. He sees it every time. Uh, for him, uh, the extra is the amount of suffering he has to endure. Oh, Grizzo doesn't change. Grizzo is perfect already. Exactly! Ow. Don't jump directly into the beat. What? I didn't understand that one, but okay. How, how did you die? How did you manage that? It looked like you were playing the game normally, but you died. <laughs> uh, chalk that up to jank hitboxes. That's some talent, boyo. Uh, one of the many the services same I guy. <laughs> the no, same that was a different. That was a different guy. No, 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 that was the same Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Is that what we're calling him now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's Jeff Bezos. He's here to give, tell everyone to subscribe with Amazon Prime when we have the ability to do that. And he's here to, like, beat us down and say, no, no music. 
Kirby is here defending the music. Jeff's gonna buy Dreamland, exactly! <laughs> you should hit him with your puff. There. I got mad. No, you didn't get mad, you just... You just played the game! You're just playing the video game! Are, are you, like, putting a limiter on yourself? Like, oh, uh, I can't play the game well until I'm upset. Okay, and watch will, out for Gordos! Yeah, I got unleash those... Unleash my Bonkai now. I got those, uh, inhibitor rings on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Gordos hurt. Oh, I was more meant the, uh, Puff Barrage, but yeah, that too. So, I don't worry more about the Gordos, because they kill you in two hits. True. So, it actually behooves me to chill up here. Yep. That's a really annoying pattern. Yep. Darn. Darn. Maybe face the correct direction. <laughs> oh, I touched- I, I kissed Wispy, so... Uh, I died. Designed for being too easy? Not today! We are proving! So, so are you mad- are you motivated now? <laughs> Apparently not if I keep doing that. Don't hit the man's nose! Oh. Stop that. Okay, that apple I'm, is perfectly... it's not gonna hurt me. Darn. That was greedy. That... that was greed. That was... Um, hmm. I told you, extra mode has it, some teeth. You don't... you're not sure what to say, Pierre, because... Uh, you're like, well, this is Dreamland, it's easy, but demonstrably, there's actually tricky patterns going on. Oh, I ate it. It is a delicious apple, so I can't really blame Kirby too much there. Gotcha! Just, why didn't you do that before? <laughs> what, what, what was the, what was the first three runs? Inhibitor rings. Oh. Dead. Uh, I like that broom hatter in the first time, where he doesn't. Uh, there, did it right. Uh, where he doesn't come at you pell mell, uh, or, or where he comes at you pell mell, but it takes a try or two before he gets there. Yeah, but here they just throw it at you because. It they expect you to remember it from last time. Alright, those goofballs become gooey in this mode. Is that what they are? Is that- I- I mean... What is that icky paint like? It's moving. No. No, no. Don't touch that stuff. Your star just drowned. That's so sad. You took life, and then the taken life died. Kirby giveth, Kirby watcheth it be taken away. Wow. It being named Chucky makes it even creepier. Oh, hey. Didn't actually get this before. Oh, delicious! Is that the only invincibility candy in the whole entire game? Delicious. Must be. Uh, and oh. the cool mummies are replaced by dumb skulls. Ugh, I hate dumb skulls. Oh, oh yeah. he's just going! Yeah. <laughs> Yeet! So it sort of reflects the Adventures of Lolo series, because first you just fight up against Lolo, like in the first two games, but then in Adventures of Lolo 3, you can also play as Lala. So it reflects the second boss fight. 
Uh oh. Oh, they come at ya. No one is safe. Oh, life comes at ya hard and fast. You didn't need to kill them all. I... What did you expect there? I, I just... I'm not upset, I just want to know. You sound pretty mad, bro. I'm he's not, not mad, upset, he's I'm... just disappointed. This is that meme music. Is that meme music? Isn't, every, isn't that just every Kirby song? No, I thought that the meme music was the map page from Donkey Kong Country. Is it? Yeah, I thought it's like, oh, I'm doing a funny skit. Better get the map page or Mumbo's Mountain. Mumbo's Mountain, I've heard, but. Some sometimes it's also Goomba Village for Paper Mario. I think that's just us. Da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ow. What are you doing? <laughs> Apparently going to Phantom of the Opera. I No, what song? Yeah, exactly. Da 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 they probably could have got away with having one of these guys push uh, Gordo in his second version. But... Yeah, th see, this is why Kirby Superstar is better. Explicitly for this reason, and no other. Well, but at the same time, Kirby Superstar took away uh, Kabula, so... Clearly it can't be that much better. It gave it back, it just needed to show you how much you loved Kabula first. And then it was like, okay, okay, we we put her, we put Kabula away for 11 years or so, now we'll take her out of the box and you can get her now that you're 13 and can buy T-rated games. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I mean, she does have a face that's painted like one of those... Ooh, excuse me. Uh, you know what? Good job on not dying. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, very, uh, very, uh, World War II. Uh -huh. Oh, they're now just straight-up takoyaki. Guys, have you ever had takoyaki? I think I have. I have not. I have made it before, and it is wonderful. Oh. I actually have a uh, takoyaki frying pan, and it is, I rarely get to use it, but I love making it. It's just such a fun process, because, uh, you know, it bakes in a flat surface, and then you take a little stick, and you rotate it, and you slowly make the ball in front of you. Oh. Really? Huh. Yeah. So, uh... You're just constantly adjusting the batter so it gets a nice consistency, and it's by far the easiest thing to get brown all over, instead of, like, uh, say, a pancake, where odds are one side's going to be a little bit more done than the other. Look at how mad these kaboos are. Oh, they're named kaboo because they're kabuki. Yes! Never put that together. I didn't realize that, but yes, probably. Oh. I don't know why I tried swimming into that guy. You were brave. You were a brave boy, but for no reason. Much okay. You needed one up. Okay, you have another chance to not be. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> hey, man. Extra mode, all bets are off. Gumpler? Its name is Gumpler? I love him! <laughs> it's like, instead of being named after Kabuki, it's named after Forrest Gump. Like, two years before it was made. Oh, Grumpler isn't as good. 
Ah, Grumpler. It sounds like Grumple Gromit. I'm into it. Which I'm still convinced is a funnier name than uh, Super Drunk. Ow. It's the same trap! I fell faster than I was expecting. Leave me alone. You no. have two speeds! You've seen how I play Mario Party. You're asking me to not get on you for no reason? I think there Good. was a. There were item many other, other things that could have been done there. I want you to think about what was done and consider. <sighs> I'm, uh. Hopefully, this. I'm not gonna be a regular for this room. Uh, okay. I need to find an umbrella because, oh boy, I feel the shade coming. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I create it when I get the umbrella out. You, see. <laughs> you feel the shade coming, so you need to find an umbrella? Yes. I'm giving you shade for that. I need to, I need to protect it. <laughs> protect I, the I shade? To... You, you protect the shade by making more shade? Yes! Okay, fair. <laughs> He's making a natural shade preserve. <laughs> Oof, that was close. Why are you trying to breathe the gun? <laughs> it's a gun! <laughs> it is. Advanced shot so it doesn't mess around. Yeah, I... So they all have different names. What is Advanced Shotso's name? Blotso? Blasto? Killo? It's probably just like... <laughs> eight, eight millimeter... <laughs> eight, eight millimeter heavy artillery cannon. Blatsy. Blatsy's a great name. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, he's going! <laughs> Calm he's down! Shooting. And shout out to that whale. Yeah, that whale's a homie. That whale? Look, actually, why does the whale... So the warp star can go in between planets. Is it just tired? Did it just, like, <laughs> it dump out of energy. on the whale? Dang it. Oh, almost. Wow, that was close. Yeah, How that did was... you die to that on normal again? Because, <laughs> like, you're doing it's significantly... It's been a better. while. Y you did beat Battletoads. Yeah, and you'll recall it took me some uh, three hours of, uh, of turbo tunnels. Hey, hey, it only took us two, one hour and 51 minutes in order to beat the second turbo tunnel. The second one. I'm counting both, buddy. Gotcha! Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, it does sound pitiful, doesn't it? You're doing a really poor job of me trying to be a hype man here, but, you know. I'm not exactly sure what you're trying to hype. What? Well, you're giving me mixed messages here, Pan. No, 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 no. Why did Kirby go into the cloud and the cloud give birth to oh. any Kirby? Oh, yeah. Why was it throwing a snowman at you, anyway? Because it's clouds. They don't have a fully formed snowman in the clouds. Yeah, they do. Haven't you ever seen Jack Frost? And Scarfy is still Scarfy. Yeah, Scarfy's the most evil creature in the Kirby universe. There's, There's no way to though. improve him. Now nah, there were five before. Are there? Yeah. Well, oh, these friggin... That's how Kirby's are born? Asexually okay, from clouds? Are those like, uh... Oh, are those, those are cat faces, I think. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were like Oni or something. Oh! Homing umbrellas. 
hate I to see told him. you the umbrella was going to give you shade. <laughs> I'm prophetic. Uh, well, that's close to what I'd say. I'm surprised you didn't get hit there. Circle in the drain. <laughs> Ow. Ow. They're called whiskers. Well, that tracks. No, well, don't do it! Don't do it! Name. He has so much to live for! <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, Waddle D can tank guns. Whoops. Is that... Was that D to D, like, inventing a trolley problem for you? <laughs> <laughs> Is DDD smart enough to understand the trolley problem? No, it's, it's like, now Kirby, if you don't stand in the middle of the gunfire, I'm gonna shoot this wild D. And if you do, I will shoot you, and it will go through you and hit the wild D. <laughs> I think he would just be disappointed that he can't kill all of them. Well,. To be fair, is not a killer, he's just a bully. I, I don't know if that applies to Waddle Dee's, though. Given, like, in Brawl. Oh Link. yeah, and these are Link! Oh yeah! I always forget about these dudes. Oh, that makes his cameo- oh, game Kirby's right. cameo in Link's way- okay. Also, this is the very first appearance of Master Hand. Enjoy it. I think I get unlimited continues. Do you, do you see that finger gun? That's what we're all feeling right now. Not not like not like one cool, not like two cool finger guns like pow pow, but just one solitary finger gun. Think think of the statement that makes. You just call me half cocked? I prefer not to follow that train of thought. Moving on. No, no, no. Like a gun, half cocked gun. Like you're going out with a. Your plans are half cocked. Y like, I you understand haven't... the analogy. Don't make it weird, man. <laughs> what are your opinions about DDD's frenemy relationship with Kirby? It is adorable. Yeah, I kinda love it. I won't lie. Yeah. I, I, I like a lot of the animation that they have in, like, Kirby 64 and stuff to mm -hmm. play with that. It, it fits with Kirby... Because Kirby's a character that fights a lot of pure evil characters and whatnot. It fits for him to have a rival that is essentially Jeez. his opposite. Where, yeet! Uh, where... He is essentially just sitting there and doing his own thing, but is selfish as opposed to Kirby's selflessness. But ultimately, they like the same things, it's just one's a jerk. Yeah, Kirby's selfish in his own way, but it, he's selfish in a way that is beneficial, I guess? Uh, Kirby would never cause problems on purpose. Yeah. Did he absolutely would. Yeah. Aw, oh, that little wild D was coming after me. Oh, I'm coming at ya. Coming at ya. Funky deal coming at ya. Yeah, no, DDD can very easily be turned around to do the wrong thing, but uh, Kirby never could. Kirby's just a little boy. He's just a good little boy. Well, I mean, Kirby would do the wrong thing. He just wouldn't realize it's the wrong thing. The instant he realized it was the wrong thing, he would do the right thing. Yeah, there you go. But I don't know if he ever would. D D D would be like, I see. Yo, uh, did he turn into a gun? Yes, with bombs. <laughs> I told you he was the most violent character in this game. Imagine. They said I could grow up to be anything I wanted, so I became a gun. <laughs> Pretty tricky pattern, too. Oh. Yeah, he's dodgy. 
Okay, what were you hoping to suck there? Oh, if I attack him there, he doesn't hurt me. Yes. There we go. Shoutouts to Krako. Like, Wispy has to show up in every Kirby game because it's like part of his job description, but Krako's just a hard worker and shows up anyway. Actually, Krako's appeared in more Kirby games than Wispy. Yeah. Has it? Is that including like all spin-offs and such? I believe so. Because I feel like Wispy appears a whole lot in spin-offs, at least. I want to say Wis uh, Krako's been in at least about as many spin-offs as... Uh... No, I, I, I can agree with you there. It's, it's just no. hard to imagine just due to the ubiquity of Wispy in Smash Brothers, I suppose. I suppose. That, that probably also includes um, the things that don't really count, like the Adeline drawings of Krako. Okay, okay oh, that's Come fair. on! Dude, I'm I'm try I'm I'm trying, but the the material you're giving me here is. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Why? The, I I'm really trying here. That was just a bad decision. There you go. There we go. And you have a ranged game. attack. That is also a vacuum. Nothing. All right. you cheated the game and yourself. Okay, don't don't get hit by the meteors. Wait, wait, no, no. There we go. There's gotta be something down there, but I don't believe it. Yeah, I'd check it out, but then here would be all like, oh sure, you check the bottomless pit. See if the bottomless pit has anything. Great idea. Well, I didn't mean go into the pit. <laughs> oh, you got hit go by inside. a pelican. Only morons get hit by pelicans. I, I've i never met someone who is smart and hit by a pelican. <laughs> I, I mean, there's like the entire Gen 5 or Gen 7 Pokemon metagame. Oh my god, you're in hell. Okay, why are you better when it's hell? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get warmed up! I like that there's a it, it does, it does there. increase the lag, so it might actually be easier. Oh, I can't hide. He's learned... He's learned to beat the corner strategy. Oh, but if I... If I jump, I get just enough air time. I'm glad that Krako has learned the deadliest of techniques. Tackle. <laughs> Ow. A little slow. Well, you, you don't know, maybe it's... Anymore. Maybe it's takedown. Nah, it's doing one damage, it's tackle. I Kirby's a platformer hero, man. There's no recoil damage. Uh, there's easy. Enemies that do two and even three damage in this game. That doesn't mean anything. Eh, true enough. So uh, how how have you one shotted like every boss? But Except you lost Wispy. To Wispy. <laughs> like three times. <laughs> Like, I didn't expect that Wispy Woods would be your kryptonite for this game. I actually think Wispy is probably the harder one, the hardest one. Ha! I remember having trouble with that back in the day, too. Alright, folks, which cool microphone should Peer eat this time? Okay, so, uh, welcome back to, uh, Piercing Eats. I'm, I'm Peer. <laughs> And today we have with us the uh, Yeti Blue. Uh, now this is a longer mic, it's a USB preferred, and uh, let's just see how it tastes. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Mm, mm, mm. And 
that I have been electrocuted. Well, we'll pick this up when I return from the hospital. But uh, leave comments below. Thank you. <laughs> nah, but for realsies, uh, which door should I go in? Do it the order easiest boss to hardest boss based on your earlier encounters with them. Or reverse, reverse, reverse order. Reverse, reverse order, so it's just normal order. So, now, who, now go ahead. Who is the easiest boss out of these? Uh, that have to be these. Well, honestly, Krakow was pretty easy. Uh, once you get the pattern. Eh, it's probably these two. Although, if it was reverse, reverse order, maybe I should have done the hardest of them. Come on. You know you want to do it. Do it. You have to get it close. You're not changing the state. I was... I was... Ow. That was easy to avoid. Look, that Kirby was teabagging you! <laughs> you think he would have got off the edge if I let him? No. Okay. Well, glad we clarified that. I think he would have bounced back and forth on that platform like a red Koopa. Yeah, but like, it's monochrome, how do you know? Ow. That was stupid. I said like a red Koopa. Just because... color isn't a thing in this universe doesn't mean that I can't use metaphors from a different universe. Actually, a question, just do... To, uh, your color blindness. Can you see the difference between green shells and red shells in Mario Kart? Uh, yeah. Uh, green shells are much brighter. Okay. Oh, pff. Got greedy. And I got stupid there. Because, like, it occurred to me, I went, oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> nah, it's not so bad. Uh, but Wispy is the hardest. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so those dudes were easiest. Next up is Krakow. Dive, 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 dive. This is a very small room. Oh, come on. Why did you dive into him? I just really like Waddle Dees. I can't control myself around them. You can't be mean to my Waddle Dees. Only I can be mean to my Waddle Dees. Thank you. I do appreciate that he has a really big tail for that attack, where he shifts his yeah. eye directly at you. You know, it's interesting. I feel like this is the Kirby game where the ability to jump matters most. Like, as opposed to flying? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Your, your short hops have a good timing to them. There's a lot of, uh... Uh, Krakow and Wispy's attacks both rely on, uh, uh quick, uh, uh, maneuvering around, uh, um, uh, around, uh, uh, attacks that you can't realistically fly around. Yeah. I think that a lot of kids would probably use the flying as a crutch, but it's easier if you don't, honestly. Yeah. Aha! Skills. So, Kirby, Fat Kirby just has the uh, silliest walk animation. Yeah, uh, it's... It feels like it needs an extra frame in there, but, I mean, the goofiness kind of works. Yeah. Where are we dropping, boys? Well, no, no, we, we gotta wait till the end, then Kirby drives the battle bus all over Dreamland and gives everyone food. That's, that's the ending of the game. Forget to thank your uh, curb driver. Ah. 
Zack. Zack. Gotcha! Thank you for playing the game better. It's a work in progress. Just I shut up and eat your grits compliment. All I'm saying. Now you seem to be oh, saying a lot. That dude's just grooving. He's just living his best life. So you murder him. Hey, man. Hey, he has to. He's required. It's a federal law that uh, he had to die. So he's a war criminal? That no. Cappy? No, it's just, it's just law. Oh. You hate to see it happen. I did, I did see it happen. I went, hmm, he's going to go left and die because of it, isn't he? Behold! What could happen? What would you grace mine eyes? Ah! Come on. This would be a fun game to learn how to speedrun because you could probably learn it in like a week. Oh, I assume like you could 12 hour challenge this easily. Yeah. hurt. Yes, yes, if you get hit by the spiky thing. Uh, as a wise prophet once said, if he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. That's true. No, that's Donkey Kong 64. Huh. Double you, double you, wispy woods. Thank you. Double you, double you, wispy woods. This tree's got bark. Don't listen up, dudes. He can there we go. the air to suit his move. He's right. dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this in two hits. Oh, he's definitely more aggro. Yep. I think he doesn't have any new attacks, but he's a lot faster. Ow. Damn, he's really good at eating shit. <laughs> Does anyone have a more pathetic signature attack than King Dedede? Uh, I'm gonna have to do this whole uh, world again, aren't I? <laughs> Probably. Um, do you count Luigi's down taunt? As a signature attack? Oh, God. Oh, that's really generous of them. Yeah. You know, Sakurai knew, okay, these dumb kids are gonna get real mad. Nah, this is extra mode. Dedede! Dedede, calm down! Oh my god, I didn't know he went out of the ring. <laughs> yeah, DDD uh, would lose uh, in the WBBA. I can't believe it. He's eliminated himself from the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Ow. Hey, hey Lucas. Lucas. Hey, glad you can make it so late, too. I suppose it's less late. Where is it? I, I so yeah, this ended up quicker than I thought. You didn't die too much. Don't drink, Seth. This ended up exactly how I thought. And you doubted... You doubted... Wait, I'm the only one who doubted... I, I'm yeah. the only one who didn't doubt you? 
That doesn't seem characteristic of what's occurred. Uh, maybe this is character development? For whom? For him, because he's learning that the shade was not justified. Well, no, in this case, we're the only ones who... Oh. You hate to see it happen. He's gonna listen to a podcast, but YouTube is down, so you're on my podcast now. Okay, fair enough. Oh, the triple jump! Man, but just like, if DDD were an actual professional wrestler, and like, everyone got so hyped as he like, ran into a corner, Preparing to eat shit on his opponent. <laughs> He's like, oh, is it? Are we gonna see it? The D D D Lation! Honestly, DDD is actually fairly tricky here. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is a tight pattern. Is this, perhaps, DDD's toughest fight? Could be. Is yeah, he at his canonically strongest in this fight? I... I can't speak for every spin-off, but, but DDD uh, ain't got nothing on here. I think... Bottom, bottom, bottom. There, there's, like, versions of Mask DDD or whatever that might be harder. It's hard to think so, because the thing that's characteristic of DDD is he always flinches after he gets hit. Yeah. And it's balanced really nicely here, but... Aha! One more! The quad jump! DDD working out his quads. Ah, oh, that was dumb. That was that also was dumb. dumb. You were dumb. And that's game. Oh. Nah, I feel like this is still harder than most masked DDDs. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, right. I mean, you did just game over on exclusively DDD, so... But, I don't know, I, I can only really... Sp I think the only masked DDD I fought is uh, Superstar Ultra. Likewise. Because uh, I know he's in Triple Deluxe, but I, I've never fought. I've never actually gone through Triple Deluxe. Darn. I think that's that and Amazing Mirror, the two uh, mainline Kirby's I've never finished. And and DL2, I guess. D I like this series a lot, but I don't beat it. Huh? I've beaten except two for of the games actually. that I beat like hundreds of times. It's going pretty good. Uh, this game is almost done. It only took about an hour. Well, again, don't jinx that. But this game is almost done. Your ability to finish it, <laughs> like the relative amount of game left, will not change. It is how long you choose to spend on the relatively short amount of game. Choose? That is the variable. Yeah, I, I fully believe Darn. that you are capable of choosing to win this whenever you feel like. So what, you you still thinking I've just got limiters on or something? I think the only thing about this fight is that he only has four attacks, but I don't think he needs more than four for this one. Yeah, you're right, probably. So I, this whole time I've been trying to think, uh obviously this game started a franchise, but this is a very modest game to start a huge franchise, don't you think? Like, I think that I think that the only reason that it works is because it's on the Game Boy. If yeah. if you release this on NES, then there is no way in hell that this takes off. It's way too easy. There's no bang for your buck. But for a how much of this can I beat on the train Damn ride it. home? This is a fantastic game. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And uh, 
it, it's just a great game to have with you to see if you can beat it. It's it's high production value for low player effort. It is really high production value. Going through this again, I'm really impressed by the amount of detail in uh, like the set pieces and the characters and such. Uh, Return to Dreamland, yes, we are playing to play multiplayer if we can finagle a working connection with that one. Yeah, there's a couple of multiplayer we're... games we're going to want to try and see if we can figure out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely Air Ride, but Air Ride's easy. It is. Did you figure out how to map the A button and the control stick? Okay, you're in. Aha! Uh, that wasn't worth it all. What tipped you off? The fact that you got a net. Gotcha! There you go. And he said I couldn't do it. Who said you couldn't do it? It's D to D. Yeah, yeah. I think the. Credits tells you the names of the enemies this time? Shout outs to the Lunars. <laughs> Shout outs to all the Lunars in the chat. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Doc the credits. credits. Nah, nah, nah. Masasaka. Kohei Mibiyashi. Sunday Rain! Yeah. Mommy Prego. Oh wait, Manny Presso. Tetsuya and uh, Toya. A full length Kirby movie, hour 30. Hey, nice! <laughs> Get uh, enemy names after the credits? Well, let's see. Shouts to Bobby! Play. Shout out to Bobby, that boy ain't right. Shout out to Bob. You go bye bye. So we never see these other Kirby's again. Oh, here you go. Yeah, here we go. Hey. Gordo, Brontobert, Waldi, Waldu, Shatzo. No, it's Brontbert. Oh, excuse me. Brontbert. My bro Junior, Cappy, Grizzo, Twizzy. Pokemon. <laughs> Poppy Bro Senior, Wispy Woods. Oh boy, okay. Ruler, Hurley, Broomhatter, Mumbies, Flapper, Glunk, Two Face. Lolo and La La La. Or Fololo and Falala. Only in the anime. Corner, Wizard. Hey, it's me. Squishy, Blipper, Kabu. I search across the lane. The foreign Kabula. Release from my hay. The power that's inside. <laughs> Sir Cable, Dizzy, Scarfy, Puffy, Kukler. That's all I got. Cracko! Oh, yeah, it's, it's not Cracko Jr. It's oh, I think Cracko just... Jr. is a fan name. Ah. No, it's it's in layer one. Tuki, Coozer, oh, Blopper. Coozer? That's that's just Skuller, Chucky, name? Gaspar. Hey, Gaspar baby. Mr. P. Umpkin. Mr. P. Umpkin. I like Mr. P. Umpkin. Blatzy, Peezer, Flotso, Grumples. I don't like Stan? Not fan yeah. of Peezer. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> Eddie Cockin Whiskers. King TDD. No, it's King D D D. That's like the only lowercase e. Down being select uh, on the title screen for the config mode and more fun. Oh, he's drunk now!
Hey. Hey. He hey. did. Look at me. Hey. <laughs> hey, wake up. Hey. Come on. But yeah, I think a lot of Game Boy games work because of their console. Oh. Like Super Super Mario Land is similar in that it's short, but it still kind of works. Oh, he's so sad. They're gone. And then DDD just suffered depression forever. <laughs> I wonder if Wizard being replaced by Peezer was intentional. Didn't even notice. I like that. Okay, so right. let's see what this is about. I think yeah. it's just the sound test, and you can adjust how much health you have. But you have more fun. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll uh, just do this uh, real quick before moving on. Hey, but roughly the same time for both playthroughs. Nice. Hey. Well, granted, this one was about 10 minutes. Yeah, off, uh... <laughs> that doesn't really count. Ah, well. Let's see, so... What was that? Down B select. B select. Yep, we can adjust how much health we have. Uh, we oh, can add the more amount, fun. Add the amount of lives, or reduce the amount of lives we start with. And then... Freaking sounds it. How many clouds are there? Let's see. Green greens. on these. Yeah. Wait, that shows up twice. Oh, whatever. Okay, so there's uh, 19. 18. Well, 19, because 0 yeah. counts. Well, no, 18, because they did one twice for some reason. Ah, true. And there's 32 sound effects. We don't need to go through the sound effects. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait, how do I un how do I get out of here? Oh, I have to hit start. Okay. Each stage scene has a version with and without the intro. Okay, so are we gonna start on Kirby's adventure? Wait, what? 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 That was I have no idea what was going on. There. Strange. Just out of curiosity. So I exit here. Oops, turn this down. So I could uh, technically do an extra game with uh, uh, with the uh, config swap. Yeah. I won't, but I could. Yeah, perfect, Kirby. <laughs> hey, I never actually saw that. Each stage theme has a version with and without the intro. That's why some show up twice. I see. Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, that is game. Um, let's see. Uh. I guess final thoughts real quick. It's so it's interesting to me. This is a very humble beginning to what became a long running franchise. And I know Kirby as a series is very nostalgic about itself. It uh, constantly celebrates uh, all the milestones it's hit beforehand, which is super sweet. And I super appreciate. So it's interesting to me that uh, in many ways, Dreamland feels like the zeroth game of the series. If adventure is the first game since adventure uh, since Dreamland introduced a lot of the broad strokes, but uh, the core gameplay loop and everything really important to the series' identity comes from Adventure. I can see that, yeah. And it, um, I think that the game compares a lot more favorably if you look at its contemporaries. Like, if you compare it to Super Mario Land, like, it's more along that level than you would see from the full-fledged stuff on the NES or the Super Nintendo back then. I agree, and I, I will freely say, this, much better than either Mario Land. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd have to... There's a lot of novelties to the Mario Lands, just, they're quaint. They're very quaint uh, games. Uh, they're very quaint I, Mario's. I don't... I, don't, I wouldn't... But, I wouldn't call this much better than Mario Land 1. I would call it better than Mario Land 1, but... Well, I'd um, call Extra Mode much better. Yeah, I guess so, if, with that included. Yeah, sure. 
Take that, Miyamoto. Uh, did Miyamoto have a lot to do with uh, the land games? No, I think that was uh, Yokoi who had that up. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see, it's been ages since I last played Mario Land, but yeah, I doubt I'd like them more than this, though I'm heavily biased. Well, <laughs> but But I'm the weird guy who doesn't like Mario Land too much at all, so... Sorry, was that Mario Land too much at all, or Mario Land too much at all? The former. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It, all right. Yeah. So, so it, it's inter. So, like I said, this game is an interesting novelty to me. Obviously, not. It doesn't do a ton now or these days, but I'd very much agree with you guys. This is uh, this would have been a very sweet uh, little. Thing to keep you entertained uh, on uh, on transit or in the car or, or what have you, especially since uh, there's so much easy modability to it with uh, config mode. Once you unlock that, yeah, and I think it's you can just tell that it's a cute little passion project, and it feels very deliberately designed with the Game Boy in mind, just in how they use the low the low screens to balance out your flight mechanics and whatnot. It, it feels like a game that could have only existed on the Game Boy. Not not just in its length like we di discussed before, but also just in how the screen layout works and how the anime patterns take up most of uh, what's going on and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a game very much about your placement on the screen, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, that that you get that in a lot of uh, how tight some of the fights are with uh, how you have to move around and such. Mm -hmm. Because you don't, it's not usually too difficult to get in position, um, but it's a game about trying to figure out what that position is. Um, because you move so slowly that uh, they can't really make a lot of it about dodging quickly. So instead they make it about finding the right position, getting into that position, and then maybe jumping over one attack or something. Yeah. But not a lot of constant movement. But I think that works for a game like this. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd uh, I'd agree with that. All right, uh, Pierre, any last thoughts? Uh, not in particular. Um, it's it's weird having being someone who grew up with Superstar and coming back to this game with uh, essentially playing the easier truncated version. Oh, mm -hmm. with Spring Breeze, repeatedly yeah. with Spring Breeze, yeah. So this is this is interesting. Um, just seeing how. Whilst well, you say that it's the you know uh, game zero of Kirby, I still think that the ideas and the the flavor and the heart of this is more consistently celebrated than any other game. Like uh, Green Greens is absolutely the theme of Kirby. Um, while others may argue that, you know, Gourmet Race and others are the theme of the Kirby series, Green Greens itself is Kirby, the character, uh, the, the feeling of the franchise, if you will. And that uh, started with this game and just how sort of lackadaisical it is. And I, what I'm impressed by is just how much character is given to the sprite work in this. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Especially, especially considering it was just a... A default sprite at first, but mm -hmm. um, they expanded it with all kinds of wacky animations just to play around with it, and you can tell they had a lot of fun. Everything is just so expressive, especially Kirby and D to D, where it's yeah. just it's super engrossing. It's 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 kind of built as a Wonderland world where the rules don't make sense and whatnot, and Kirby's just kind of going forward and just falling face first into power-ups and whatnot but it's kind of fun it plays with the idea of kirby's adaptability without needing to give him the copy power and i i think that that's 
a really strong, enduring hallmark of Kirby. I can definitely see that. Um, dinner is ready, so feel free to start on adventure if that's what you're going to do. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. go. All right. But yeah, we'll, I'll be uh, back soon. Sounds okay. good. We'll, uh, yeah. Uh, if we got time, uh, uh, we might as well uh, get a little bit of the ways into uh, adventure. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, I knew a kid back when I was little who had access to every Game Boy game, I think through emulation. Not that I would have known that at the time. And I played the uh, heck out of Dreamland and Dreamland 2 because of him. Yep. Yep, I can definitely feel that. Alrighty, so shall we dive into Kabi Adventure? Sure. Uh, here, I'm. give me just a minute. Uh, I'd like to do a quick post. Uh, yeah, let's take about five minutes to just do quick social media stuff uh, uh, before we uh, get uh, uh, get switched over. Cool. Can you do it on something that's a little bit more exciting to look at? Uh, let's see. There. He's about to jump and get me. Oh, oh that's really exciting. <laughs> now, here. Let's go. I don't know. There's two of them. I'll go back to the uh, menu. Uh, yeah, here. just go to the AS Classic menu as you do that. All right. Because you can swap over to the actual one that will do demo modes and stuff. Indeed. <laughs> 